Welcome back, everyone. This week, NBC News hosted a Joe Biden town hall that I'm sure nobody is surprised was nothing but slobbering easy softballs. The town hall itself was billed as an audience of undecided voters. Yet at least three of them have been open about their support for Joe Biden in the past. Welcome back. Welcome back, Miami. And the town hall meeting with former Vice President Joe Biden taking questions from undecided voters. Peter Gonzalez has next question. Uh, welcome to Miami, Mr. Vice President. Um, I was born in Hartford, Connecticut, and I've been living in Coral Gables for the last 20 plus years. We get four more years of Trump. Good luck. And good luck with the future attracting younger voters. Let's go to Ismail Eliano, who voted for Hillary Clinton four years ago, but has voted Republican in the past. What's your question for Mr. Biden? Hi, Mr. Vice President. Things uh, you know, that, that, that Joe Biden said during his speech that resonated with me was, you know, what defines America's possibility. Gomez joins us now. Uh, first time voter came to the U.S. from Columbia at age two. Welcome. Spent a lot of time in Columbia. Thank you, Lester, for the introduction. After watching the debate, Mateo Gomez told us he really didn't feel like he got a whole lot out of it, and it really did not do a lot to help him. If you had to pull the trigger and vote for someone tomorrow, how would you vote? Probably Biden, in this sense. Jesus, these people. Others at the exact same town hall that I remind you was billed as an audience of undecided voters. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's town hall where we are surrounded by dozens of undecided voters. I've shown support for Joe Biden on their social media accounts. Michelle Cruz, described as a former Republican, is clearly not undecided, judging by her Facebook photos that either support Joe Biden or are attacking Trump. Another one of these supposed undecided independents or former Republicans, Cassidy Brown, also has a social media channel filled with pro-Biden and pro-Hillary postings, even referring to Joe Biden as the future president. It was pretty obvious to everyone that these voters were just lobbing softballs at Biden, never asking tough or critical questions. A writer for Politico tweeted out, quote, NBC's town hall with Joe Biden and undecided voters in Miami didn't seem to have undecided voters. Nor was it much of a Miami town hall, which would have way more yelling and pointed questions. It was a TV show that doubled as a Biden infomercial. As far as ratings go, the town hall was a flop, coming in below NFL football and dancing with the stars. Who knew obvious lab dog propaganda was so boring? Now I'm really going to blow your mind. This isn't the first time in recent history that this has happened. You might remember last month during the ABC News town hall that also touted undecided voters that all seemed to be pretty anti-Trump, regurgitating all the typical media talking points and narratives. Well, it turns out that multiple voters that were described as undecided are actually longtime Trump haters. First, a Kutztown University professor who ABC News described as uncommitted has a tweet history showing that she's very committed to the Biden campaign and losing her mind over Trump, calling him a pig, a fucking moron, a punk ass loser, and of course a swine. Oh yeah, but I'm sure her mind is still open. The next uncommitted voter, a Philadelphia pastor, also has a tweet history suggesting he's not a person that would ever vote for Trump, referring to him as a villain and other choice words going back to 2015. This is the obvious outcome of political propaganda theater masquerading as a legitimate town hall. This sham of a town hall was hosted by ABC News' chief anchor, a Democrat, a former aide of Bill Clinton and generous donator to the Clinton Foundation, George Stephanopoulos. Once a Clinton liberal Clinton hack, always a Clinton liberal hack. That's all I have on this story. Just a quick one for today as I prepare for the vice presidential debate, which you can watch on my DLive channel, which is tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Join us in the official Drone Tech Politics Discord server to hang out with the community and discuss the debate. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.